All right. Hey, hey Barbara, Jeff. how's it going? Good. How are you today? Good. I have a feeling I know what we're going to talk about based on this screen. So let's jump in. Yeah, um, I had a question for you today. I was wondering if you could show me how to uh, move um, stuff from AppSona, like my reports and things, um, into, into a sandbox. Awesome. Yes, this is a common thing that comes up, uh, like essentially deploying AppSona, right? That's kind of what we're talking about. Yep. Awesome. Uh, all right, uh, we're going to let you share screen, and I will walk you through the process. And uh, awesome. I'll kind of give some closing comments once once we do that. So let me stop sharing my screen. All right, go ahead and dive in here. Alrighty. Okay. All right. So I've pulled up my sandbox org and my production org here. So, um, so what should I do? All right. So the cool thing about this is it's so much easier than a normal deploy. Uh, you're gonna go in in the environment where you have everything, which is where you are. We're in a, a developer org here. Um, you're gonna go to settings okay. and Epsona items. And a little primer here for folks that don't know, Epsona items is an object. It's one of the few objects that gets installed when you install Epsona. And everything in Epsona, pretty much, almost everything, is an Epsona item. So a report, a merge action, a filter, they're all different types. Here's the item type. Label. They're all different types of Epsona items. So the cool thing is like, we're all we're really going to do is we're going to pull these Epsona items out and stick them into the other environment. So um, from, from this menu of Epsona items, can you go to the Tools menu mm -hmm. and just hit Export Items? And go ahead and do that. And we're not, we're obviously not removing anything from here. We're making a copy and it's going to result as a, a dot DAT file or a, a DAT file, I guess is another way to say it. Um, so I think it should show up in your downloads pretty soon. I think I'm going to pause our video in case it takes a little bit of time and then we'll pop back in once it's finished downloading. All right, so it didn't take much longer after I paused, about 10 seconds. And there it is, epsonaitems.dat. So you're, you've got it downloaded. You basically don't need to do anything. We just need to see that it downloaded. Um, so now if you could go to the sandbox org. Yep, I don't need to open that. I'm yeah, we don't need to open it. Um, and before we do anything here, I think I just want to note this was a sandbox org that was created from the other org that we just pulled the data from. Um, so it's going to pull the fact that you have Epsona. So the package is going to be there. Um, it, sandboxes don't pull Salesforce records, though. That's one of the reasons why we don't get all of the stuff automatically here is because Epsona items are an object, just like accounts and contacts. And you can see here, there's no contacts, there's no accounts, there's no, there's no, there's no records in a sandbox. But the metadata exists. The metadata is like the fields, the objects, the packages. So we see Epsona, but it's empty. Um, and none of our reports and filters are here. So we're going to push those in. So you want to go to the same place. So basically, you're in Epsona. Yep, you want to go to Epsona items. And we have zero items. Oh, just kidding. We have a couple configurations. I think that just kind of came out of, I think I think somebody else was using the sandbox for some other stuff. So a, a configuration was created. But we can kind of ignore that for now. Um, and go ahead and uh, yeah, go to Tools and Import Items. And you're going to basically find that same file on your desktop. Perfect. And import. And um, it it's going to bring in, like I said, your filters, your reports, etc. cetera. Uh, you can see here, it says document templates folder. So this is like your templates for your, um, your merges. Um, we maybe could have chosen a different folder here. To be honest, Epsona doesn't really care where you store your documents in terms of the folder. It just needs a public to be a publicly accessible folder. So if you already have a folder um, like in production that's like Epsona templates or something like that, you can choose that folder. 
Um, but as long as your document templates for merge are in a public folder, it's going to show all of them no matter which folder it's in. So this doesn't have a lot of consequence here. Um, other than that, it's just kind of doing its thing. I think, again, I'm just going to pause the video so that we don't have to wait too long on the recording. So let's do that really quick. All right. Well, I shouldn't have paused because the moment I hit stop, it it came. So I wasn't sure how long it would take to do the 1,300 records. But yeah, go ahead and close it. And here we go. So here's all our Epsona items. Everything's already there. Our merge actions are going to be connected to the right document and the right reports, and everything's already aligned. So it's literally as simple as that. It's just exporting and importing. Um, the one thing we don't have in the sandbox org is, like I said, contact records, account records. So if I pulled up a report, it's going to be empty because I don't have that other data. A lot of folks that work in a sandbox will create what's called a full sandbox, and that is a paid product uh, where you copy all of the data, including all the records from your production org into a sandbox environment. Um, Sometimes people use what's called a partial sandbox, where you choose certain objects to transfer, and it gets a certain amount of them just to have some test data. So, you know, your, your sandbox records may vary, but this is how you bring the, the Epsona um, functionality over without having to recreate it. Does that make so sense? To, yeah, it makes sense. Now, so say like I'm working on something in sandbox, because I don't really want to do it in production. I um, create a merge action. Um, and then I want to move it from sandbox into production because I've completed it. I don't want to redo it again when I get into production. Um, is that the same steps? Yeah. In fact, if you are really just working on one thing and you just want to move that one thing, you could do that as well. So as a test, let's just go back to Epson. Oh, we're in Epson items. So let's just imagine, you know, you, you had a merge action, um, and you, or a filter or whatever, and you just select that particular record. You're going to filter to merge I'm action. Pick merge action. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So you can you can just select one of these. Yeah. And but you obviously, can... if I'm going to move the merge action over, I would also need to make sure the reports connected to it, right, are, no. are moved over as well. The cool thing about this is, is that when you export a merge action, Epsona is smart enough to get all of the related things for that merge action. So when it imports cool. it, it's going to import your merge action, your report, your template. And that's super cool. So all you yeah. have to worry about is, is starting with the merge action, and then it's going to do the rest for you. Awesome. Um, right. I want to say one more thing. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I already covered it. Yeah, I, I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Thank you, Chad. That was yeah. very helpful. Awesome. I'm going to finish this off by grabbing the screen back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Doing a little closing bit. So um, if this is your first time here, we, uh, we encourage you to um, continue to work with us through our request form on our website. Here's a quick little bit.ly link, but you can also just go to our website and go to the help and support section and, uh, and go to contact us. Um, we have a great newsletter that's really educational. It has lots of really good information, um, tips, uh, webinar invites. And so you can scan this QR code to sign up for that newsletter. And then here's just some more resources. We do office hours. Um, Twice weekly, Barbara and I uh, are there on the Thursday one, and my coworker Jatendra and I are there on the Tuesday one. And you can just show up uh, without registration. We have a great LinkedIn page that has lots of updates and new information, and a lot of that educational information that we're trying to push out is posted to LinkedIn. And then we have a really great video library on YouTube. Lots of great playlists. You're you're watching this, so you made your way to YouTube. Um, but we encourage you to check out more there. There's lots of good resources. I think that's it. Anything else, Barbara? That's it. Thanks, Chad. All right. See you next week. Okay. Bye. Bye.